Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. One of the most obvious and easily observable facts of life by anyone with a pair of eyes is that when we look across the Earth's surface, uh, no matter how high or low we are above that surface, we always see the horizon at our eye level. That is the midway point between the top and the bottom of our field of view when we are looking straight ahead and we have a view as far as we can physically see, which isn't really that far at all. But this is where defenders of the globe and anti-flat earthers have to go into outright denial mode. They have to deny that perspective is a thing because of this idea that uh, what we see in front of us is curvature of the globe Earth, rather than it being an optical phenomenon that we know is the law of perspective, without which we wouldn't be able to do things like driving or throwing basketballs in hoops and many other daily activities that that involve this understanding of uh, depth of field with perspective at play with everything we do. And this is where the excuses come thick and fast and they become quite ridiculous as people try to deny that perspective is a thing and that the horizon is always at our eye level. They will come up with uh, fractions of drop at the horizon in efforts to claim that uh, we are seeing curvature in front of us. But in fact, if you think about how our field of view expands over distance, yet it also uh, contracts due to perspective the further we are seeing, we should in fact see curvature on the horizontal across our field of view from left to right because well, what we are actually seeing in the distance is usually um, uh, part of the surface which is maybe one to three hundred miles across yet we cannot see that far in front of us so we should in fact be seeing some kind of curvature uh, at the horizon on the horizontal when the claim is, of course, that we are seeing curvature in front of us because we get what appears to be this kind of ledge as we uh, look across the surface of the Earth, especially when we are looking across uh, water and we are quite close to the surface, we get this very distinct line. And depending on the conditions, we will also get some mirroring which uh, appears on the surface up to the observer's eye level but we know that the surface is not bulging in front of us because it's not going above eye level. And we know that it's not dropping away in front of us because it's not going uh, below eye level and it's not curving down uh, between us and the horizon. It is actually appearing to rise up like a wall of... Um, the surface. We know this is an optical phenomenon and this is uh, how the flat earther comes to understand that we are on a flat earth and not a globe because we understand that horizons have nothing to do with any kind of imagined curvature yet perspective has been re ignored and replaced with this idea of curvature. Perspective is the imaginary curve. And the moment that you accept that perspective is a thing which makes a flat surface appear to rise to our eye level, then you have to go uh, along with the realization that we are in fact on a flat plane. We are not on a globe. This really is the crux of one of the many issues surrounding the flat earth but it is one of those things that we all instinctively know yet the uh, defender of the globe will instinctively deny is a thing. As a last resort defenders of the globe will talk about this apparent drop in the horizon when we are very high above the surface but what we can observe is that when we are down low we see a very distinct horizon and this line is usually the start of the mirroring on the surface and this is what will happen on a flat surface it will go on infinitely of course but uh, there is a limit to how far we can see across that surface from a low level 
and the higher we get, the less distinct that horizon becomes, it gets more blurry, and uh, we get a lot of whiteness and a less clearly defined horizon. But this, of course, is then called a horizon drop and is considered by defenders of the globe as proof that we are looking uh, across a globe. But again, uh, the idea that uh, we are looking down uh, curvature can be and has been debunked many, many times. And as we've just mentioned, uh, the fact that uh, the field of view from left to right is usually much, much uh, wider across than the view we have in front of us, yet we never ever see any equivalent curvature. And so this is where the cognitive dissonance kicks in with the anti-flat earther as they try to justify this apparent drop uh, in front of us, saying that we are looking down a curve while not being able to see a curve from left to right. Again, completely ignoring uh, perspective and pretending that it doesn't exist. In fact, if you ask a defender of the globe uh, why the horizon, when we are fairly close to the surface, is not somewhere like uh, about one-third of the way up uh, from the bottom of our field of view, you cannot get a sensible response to this question because, again, it does come down to perspective and having to admit that the horizon does in fact rise to eye level. The surface and the sky appear to meet at the vanishing line, the band of convergence where the sky and the surface appear to meet in the individual observer's field of view. And this denial, of course, is where we gain the understanding that we are dealing with a cult-like belief something that we can all scientifically observe as individuals yet is denied by these people who wish to carry on the fantasy that they're on a spinning ball earth. And this really is the challenge that comes with the flat earth. Those who have been through it understand that there is a very difficult process to go through, breaking down and understanding the difference between what we are told to believe against what we know to be a fact based on the observer's perspective, the way we see the Earth. And of course, if we look into how the globe Earth has been defined, uh, it has always been through observations in the sky. Uh, we cannot uh, measure any curvature on the surface simply because there is none. And when we look at uh, the sun, moon and stars traveling across the sky, what is at play is perspective. It is not a globe Earth rolling around in space and around the sun. We understand that it is something other than that. And what we see are uh, close celestial objects that uh, behave just the way anything else does with the laws of perspective as it is traveling away from us or towards us uh, at a consistent height. Things always meet at the horizon from the surface up and from the sky down to the midway point, the vanishing line of our field of view. And the sooner that people get over that and come to terms with it, the sooner we can move on to the more important issues that we can realize when we realize the extent, yet the simplicity, of the deception that has been put upon us. And then our minds can be free from this global matrix and we can move forward and really evolve and develop in ways that uh, we couldn't possibly imagine while we believe we are on a globe. Thank you very much.